So guys, today's video comes from my local trout fishery, which is Roslyn Lee. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of flies at the end. Um, so if you keep watching the video for the details of how to win them. Today's video, I fancy do something a little bit different. So I thought I'll do a little challenge. Um, it was a decent morning when I arrived, but the forecast was it was to get horrendous and it did later on. So I thought, what can I do for a few hours that will be a bit interesting? So what I decided to do was I would fish two rods and at 15 minutes I would use one method, then the next 15 minutes I'd use the next method and just keep switching back and forth to see in the few hours that I fished this morning which method would be the most successful. So I had one rod set up on the bung and one rod set up for pulling flies, so stripping lures basically. So in this clip here, this is me with my first cast of the day and I started on the bung. I had a squirmy, a pink squirmy set at three foot and cast that out. So as you can see, it didn't take long to get into a fish. It's because quite often the way, when, I first, when you first go up in the morning, um, you tend to get a fish pretty quickly. Um, the fish were high in the water, I knew that. I'd heard that that's where the fish were. Um, and yeah, so first blood of the day goes to the bung. So my 15 minutes on the bung ended and I spent 15 minutes stripping lures. I had my black rabbit on um, and nothing. So this clips me back into the next 15 minutes, back on the bung. Um, still on the pink squirmy, which I like to use when there's a bit of movement on the water. Um, just the squirmy moves and as you can see, into another fish on the bung. So early doors, it did seem like the bung was going to be the more successful method, um, but I did know that that can always change. Um, and part of the reason of doing this challenge was just to see if you stick to the same thing all day, yes, you might catch fish, but just by demonstrating switching every 15 minutes, is there a difference at different points of the day? To be honest, it'll depend where you're fishing, what the weather's like, what the fish are up to, what they actually want. Um, so, but yeah, it was clear that the bung was going to be effective um, and I wasn't too confident stripping lures at this point. So at this point you can see it's calmed down a bit. Um, this really was the calm before the storm on this day. Um, I had another go with the pulling for 15 minutes and now I was back onto the bung and I had changed the fly to an egg fly. So I was using this olive egg fly with gold fleck through it with a gold bead. Just because the water was a bit calmer, that's where I feel that eggs are more effective. And as you can see, the fish just seemed to love the, the, the fly presented static at three foot. And it really was proven the most effective method at this point of the day. So this is not long after that fish was released but the bad weather rolled in and the wind picked up pretty strongly so I moved around to the other side of the water and um, so the wind was on my back and it was time to start pulling it was the next 15 minutes and I had my black zonker on with the purple rainbow body I featured this 
pattern a lot of my, my recent videos um, and I was into a fish um, as soon as the weather changed it seemed um, and there was a bit more of disturbance on the water I was casting this out on my midge tip line so it was my six foot midge tip line that I was using casting it out a couple of strips on the top of the water and the pattern just creates that turbulence on the top of the water and attracts the fish in and then quite a fast um, retrieve not roly-poly but a fast figure eight um, and yeah all of a sudden the fish seemed interested in my lures first fish to the net on the lures and yeah really did have a bit more confidence in that method you see there nice nice little rainbow and away it goes switch to the GoPro just because the other camera had to get put away because it was going to be pouring with rain um, and as you can see it wasn't long before I was onto another fish I came in a black zonker with the rainbow body. Um, as soon as this fish started fighting, I knew it was something a little bit special. Um, and yeah, made it worth being out in this horrendous weather. Other anglers had just packed up and went home. By the end, I was the only person at the fishery. And as you can see, I was rewarded by catching this lovely brown trout. Absolutely cracking fish. And yeah, as I say, it makes it worth being out in the rain and wind. Got a nice little photo of the fish. Definitely worth, worth a still shot, that one. And then got it safely back on its way. So again I just kept switching methods every 15 minutes and at this point the bung was doing nothing. I wasn't getting any interest on it now and the weather was certainly not doing nothing. It was horrendous. Started blowing a gale, pouring with rain, but I was out there catching fish. It was all good. At this point I'd actually switched lures so I had put on an olive pattern. It was a new pattern I've tied up which is actually tied with weasel hair that I got from Troutline so it looks good, a little bit smaller than rabbit as you can see there, the fish liked the pattern um, unfortunately this fish got off but um, it was showed me that they were interested in the olive pattern too and yeah this one got away but I was sure I was going to get some more at this point you really do start questioning yourself why you're standing out in the rain but um, yeah, must be mad, but I must say I'm not a fair weather fisherman and as long as you've got your waterproofs on, what, what harm does it really do? Don't want to be standing out in it for eight hours, but a few hours to get a video done and I could get back home and dry. As you can see, into another fish on the olive pattern and yeah, glad to see this one actually stayed on. So another fish to the net on the lures and again nice little rainbow and all of a sudden it seemed that the method that was being the go to was pulling lures now so I hadn't done anything first thing but as soon as the weather changed it was a different ball game. I had no more interest on the bun um, but I still stuck with it every 15 minutes. It felt like an age when I was fishing the bung but getting no interest. I was switching the flies over, trying everything to try and get another take on the bung in that 15 minutes but 
they had just quite completely switched off to that method and at this point it had actually switched to a, back to a black lure but this was again tied with weasel so I've got some black weasel which again just a little bit smaller than rabbit um, so I went from the sort of bigger size to a slightly smaller the same black black lure with a purple rainbow body but as you can see there done the treat as well so a cracking little blue this time and nice to get have a nice variety so worth being out in the pouring rain and blowing a gale when you're catching a variety of trout like that so all of a sudden you can see the most effective method was all, all of a sudden stripping lures at this point I had changed the lures that I was fishing so took off the zonker type patterns and I went with two blobs um, so they were spaced about eight feet apart and um, just the two and again on the midge tip line and just stripping them fairly quickly through the water fast figure eight a few pulls pauses and yeah just trying something different that bit of colour as opposed to the movement to see if I could attract any fish in um, and yeah that's a method that tends to work well um, on all types of waters and it didn't take long before I got any fish using that method you can see in the distance there the van pulling away and I think that was the last angler except myself decided to pack up for the day it was getting pretty wild to be fair but I was catching fish I was still enjoying myself I wasn't going to stay too much longer don't get me wrong but when you're out there catching fish it does make it seem a little bit nicer than it actually is so another rainbow to the net and that was my three hours doing this challenge up not overly surprised with the outcome and that the bung was more effective when the weather was a little bit calmer that always tends to be the case but yeah when the weather turned switching methods if you were just fishing normally that day would have brought you more fish and it just shows you have to react to the conditions um and yeah enjoyed the challenge i must say i did then go on to start fishing the washing line with some cormorants and catch more fish um but yeah i enjoyed doing that challenge and i'll probably do some more things like that over the winter so yeah i really enjoyed my day and this clip peers back to the start you wouldn't think it's the same day it was really nice in the morning um first thing and then yeah the bad weather rolled in so now over to the giveaway so what i've done is i've put together a box of flies that includes all patterns featured today so i've got the black rabbit with the purple body and um, squirmies and lots and lots of different types of eggs the eggs are tied in a size 12 with a three mil tungsten bead which gets down quickly and yeah with with the range of colors in this box you'll definitely catch many trout on these this winter also included a few blobs again if you have not fished two blobs i would recommend switching to that at some points during the day and it'll definitely bag you those extra fish so all you need to do to win that is if you can make sure you're subscribed to the channel and if you can like this video and then just leave a comment um, with the word win in the comment hopefully you enjoyed something different a little, a little bit different today and i'll be back soon with another video i've got another couple of new venues planned to visit soon so should be too long before I'm bringing you new videos of them. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.